just go into the Word of God and then we're going to go into Exodus 3 verse 8. Exodus 3 verse 8. Exodus 3 verse 8. Let me read you from this translation. I've got another translation here, but let me read you from this uh, New King James Version. Exodus 3 verse 8. Now here God is talking to Moses and telling him something. And when God says it, it is done. God will not tell you something and not do it. Whatever you are sitting with, whatever condition you are facing, whatever challenge you are, you are facing, just one word from God will change it. Why people don't believe, or let me say, why people don't see their miracle is because they don't have a word from God. When God wants to do something in your life, before He does it, He will give you a promise. Welcome, Mr. Mamlule. Good to see you. Long time no see. Good to see you. Okay. So, Exodus 3, verse 8. Let's start verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. What, what, what is the Bible saying? God saw. God sees where you are. Now, maybe you don't face a physical oppression, but maybe you face a spiritual oppression. Let me tell you what you are going through. Don't think God is not there. God sees what you are going through. God knows your pain. He knows your challenges. God says, I have seen. And when God gave me this message or this revelation of the token of honey, the Lord says, I have seen their mercy. I've seen what they're going through. I've seen how their business is not moving. I've seen... <laughs> Say, God sees me. God, God sees knows me. everything about me. God knows everything about me. Exodus 3, we start, uh, we start in verse 7. And the Lord said, I have, sh I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrow. The Lord says, he has heard your prayer. I, I don't know what you prayed this week. The Lord says, I have heard your prayer. And this service today, this message as you are watching today, it is prophetic. Because the Lord says, because of the token of honey, God says it is here because he heard your prayer. Somebody's prayer is being heard. God heard your prayer. I receive it. I say, God, he heard what you were praying. God saw your tears. He saw what you, he, he, he saw what you went through. But today I've got good news for you. We are going to verse 8. Say, we are moving from verse 7 and I'm moving to verse 8. Just get up from your seat. I say, I'm in verse 7. But today... Because of the token of honey, I don't want you to walk, I want you to jump. Yes. Say, I am, I am jumping from verse 7 to verse 8. Take a jump now. Okay, you may sit down. What's verse 8 saying? Some of you, you haven't exercised for a long time. I'm giving you exercise. <laughs> I hope those who are watching you also jump here because the people here, they are so excited. You could see they're jumping. Let's see what, what, what verse 8 says here. So, you see, you cannot start with so if you did not read verse 7. Now, we have jumped from verse 7 and we have jumped prophetically in verse 8. What's verse 8 saying? So, I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. Say today. Is my day of deliverance. My day of Whatever deliverance you need today, if I'm you, I will give God a shout of praise. Yes. I don't know about the online people, but the people here are excited. Let me hear what the online people are saying. The people are excited. This place is loaded. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up. Say, I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm going up. When God delivers you, he does not leave you there. He brings you up. 
up to the mountain top. God is promoting you. Oh, yes. Say, I'm not going down anymore. I'm going up. I'm going up. And have heard that. Oh, no, no, no. We are going from verse 7. We are in verse 8. And bring them up from that land to a good. I don't know what land you are in. God says, I'm bringing you up. I'm taking you by the hand, taking you out from where you are down there and bringing you to a good land. It means a land, you will say, I don't know how many kilometers, but God is bringing you in a good land. Say good. Good. Say good. Good. From that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and <laughs> I receive it. I don't know about you, yes. but I'm in verse 8. Yes. And I'm already in a good land. Yes. In a place of no limitation. Hey. I'm already elevated. I don't know about you. Hey. But the Lord says, I'm bringing you out. Hey. I'm bringing you up hey. into a good land. Into a land that was overflow, overflow, shout overflow, overflow, shout overflow, overflow, shout overflow, 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 overflow. Are you ready for that overflow? Oh yes. Overflow of money, your bank account overflows. Your the goodness of God, a good land, a good land. Hey. I don't know which land you've been, but the Lord says it's not your doing. It is my doing. I'm bringing you in a good land. Let me tell you, this is a prophetic word. And this land is bringing you in is a land that overflows of milk and honey. Honey. And today we are doing the token of honey. If God talks about honey, I want to give you an assignment. Just go to the word of God and just type in honey. You will see a lot of scriptures from the beginning of Genesis 2, Revelation, the Lord, the Bible talks about honey. Now, if the Bible talks about honey, what is there in the honey that the Bible mentions a lot of honey? If the Bible mentions something, don't just read it. Say, ask yourself, why? Why is it in the Bible? Maybe it is something that God wants to tell me. And I've got good news for you today. We are coming to a good land. He says, in a good land that overflows, what? Milk and honey. To the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. It means you are taking over. Somebody is sitting in your job. Somebody is sitting in your supervisor's position. They say to table side that is sitting in your house. They say he died that is driving your car. Mm. The Lord says, Hakalaba Hashiana. I receive not just a good land, a land you're gonna take over. Take over. Say, I am taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm taking over. Are you with me? I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I want to jump, I want to shout, I want to run, I want to just do something. Verse 9 says. Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me. And I have, and I have also seen the oppression which, of which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now there's always somebody involved when God wants to bring somebody out. God says, Moses, I cannot come down, but you will be that instrument to bring somebody out of Egypt into this good land. You're going to bring them up to this good land, this land that overflows with milk and honey. (laughs) I don't know. And today I feel that's Moses' grace. I feel I need to bring some. I don't know who's that person. Who, who, who? It is I. The Lord says I need to bring somebody out of Egypt. I don't know who's that one. It is I. Okay, let's go into the word of God. There's another scripture I want to read to you also here. It's in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 13. It says here, He made me ride 
on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the field. And he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. So the Lord says here, the sweetness of God, honey speaks of sweetness. The sweetness of God will come from places that you never expect it will come from. What's going to happen after today's service? The sweetness that will come to you, it will be people and places you thought will never help you. I receive God it. God will do things that looks imp- can. Let me tell you, we know honey comes from bees. But do you know, th- 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 is it possible for honey to come from a rock? In the natural? It's impossible. My, my brain or what I was taught or what I know, honey only comes from bees. I can never go to a rock and say, and look for honey. No, I'm going to a honeycomb and there I will find some bees and they will make honey and I will get honey from that honeycomb. Is it not so? But here the Lord says, no, the honey you will give you will come from the rock. It will come from an impossible situation. That thing that looks impossible. A rock speaks of problems. The Lord says that thing that gave you problem, your honey will come from that problem. Your honey will come from that solution. A rock is hard. A rock is immovable. The Lord says that thing that never wanted to move, it's going to be a blessing, a testimony for you. I receive I think I'll speak to somebody here. Now let's look what honey, what is honey? What is the token of honey? What does it mean according to the word of God? And then we're going to do a few things later on. Psalm 119 verse uh, 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. They just sing it now. How sweet is your word unto my taste. Here, sweeter than honey to my mouth. He says, sweeter than honey. Now it talks about that just as honey is sweet to my mouth, I can taste it. Is it the word of God is just like it. So it means honey brings sweetness in your life. It it tells me here that the word of God produces sweetness in your life. This word produces sweetness in your life. So every time when you eat honey, you say, Lord, I thank you for your word. That just as I'm eating honey, so is your word bringing sweetness in my life. For some people, the word of God just is just letters or, or numbers or just letters in this paper it's just paper there's no manifestation when you read uh, only goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life if you say the lord is my shepherd i shall not lack it is just a word it's just ink on paper but the lord says after today what is in this word I'm telling you, it will become a manifestation in your life. I receive it. So by the token of honey, we remind ourselves that the word of God produces sweetness in our lives. I'm telling you, why is your life better than it was? It's because of the word. It's, you, start giving your, you, you start worth giving your life to Christ. Is it not so? But after that, you need the word. You need to eat the word. You need to drink the word. And when you apply the word, sweetness comes to you. Imagine you somebody here. My life was not like it was today before. I was a child of God. But I've realized as I eat this word more, and it became more sweet to my life, and my life became sweeter. Are you with me? So today, as we partake in a token of honey, you will experience that your life will get sweeter. I receive as you taste that honey, say, Lord, today, I speak sweetness over my life. When you go for that interview, Lord, as I taste this honey, it is sweet in my mouth. Today, my interview will be sweet. Today, as I go and see a client, today, are you with me? So the word of God, you speak the word of God over your life. And it becomes a manifestation. There's other scriptures I want to read to you. Ezekiel 3 verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, 
and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. He says, take this word, eat it. And as he was eating it, it, it tastes it. sweet. And that word makes his life sweet. I don't want to speak to somebody here. Uh, I don't know if I speak to somebody here. Speak, my father. You see, it means we need to be prophetic. Yeah. Prophetic people are dangerous people. Yeah. Prophetic people make things happen. Oh, yes. Prophetic people are stupid for those who are out there who don't understand it. But prophetic people are people of action. Oh, yes. And as they perform their actions, things are happening. Where I did you see it. in the natural, you are taking your stuff, you are over the sea, you just do this, and the sea split. It will never happen. But God said, Moses, do the stupid thing. Do the thing that sounds nonsense to you. Take your stick and stuff and just lift up your over the sea. And as he did it, something happened. Are you with me? Amen. I think I must speak to somebody here. God said to Moses, take your own stuff and yes, the rock just hit it. Water will come out. He just took his stuff, hit it. You can go today, take any stick and go to the rock, yeah, any rock and just hit it. Water will not come. If you say to your people, I will hit this rock and water will come, they will laugh at you. You will hit, water will not come. But on God's instruction, oh, yes. Moses took that impossible, that stupid thing. He took his stuff and he, and what happened? Water come. Yes, yes, the prophet Elisha. The people says, listen, yeah, the water yeah, is bitter. It is, it is toxin. It is toxin. And what did he say? Bring me a little bit of salt. He took the salt, he threw it in the water, and he says, now drink the water. And they drink the water. They say, ah, it's, it's, it, it, it tastes like uh, pearl water. <laughs> it tastes like water from pearl. I don't want to speak to somebody here. I it's it. so sweet. Super things. Things you don't understand. Yes, Elisha again. He took the mantle of his, his, his master. His spiritual father, Elijah, he took it, came to the river, and he, he said, where's the God of my spiritual father? He hit the river, and the river split. How, how can you explain it? Yes, the people of Israel, Joshua, the Lord says seven times, seven days around the city of, and here he is, and the people, they were making music. And they were dancing, they were shouting, praising her. And these people up there, they looked and said, ha, 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 what are you trying to do? Now, these walls are going to fall because of music. But a stupid instruction from God, prophetic instruction, I'm telling you, will release the impossible. And what happened to Jericho? The Bible says the walls came down. So it's always the stupid things. Here is Jesus. He says, his mom comes to him and says, listen here. Uh, Jesus, uh, the water, the wine is finished now. The people need some more wine. He, they, they need more wine. And Jesus says, uh, bring, you know, in Israel, when you were a guest, you always took a bowl of water and washed. And the people, because they never had shoes, they will wash their hands and their feet because of the, 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 the sandals on. So a guest will not enter the house unless they wash their hands in their feet. So, and Jesus said, the dirty water. When the people wash their hands and their feet, bring me the dirty water. It was not clean water. It was the water that the guests used. The dirty water. They brought it to Jesus. The stupid thing happened. And after they taste that, you say, oh, this one is better than the first one. Dirty water turned to wine. I'm telling you, my God is a God who will turn impossible situation. Don't ever think my life will not change. Don't ever think my life will not get better. As long as God is on your side, hey. I'm telling you things are getting better. As long as God is on your side, the sun will shine. I'm telling you, we are not depressed. We don't 
worry. We don't stress. We are relaxed. We relax. Oh, yes. We don't stress here. I don't know what. Let's go to Revelation 10 verse 9. The book of Revelation 10 verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet. Yes. Ah. Even the Revelation talks about honey. So it means when we talk about honey, it's prophetic. I say it is prophetic. Oh, yes. When we talk about honey, I say it is prophetic. It is prophetic. Oh, yes. You can read there in uh, uh, Revelation 10, verse 7 to 11. It says there, Revelation chapter 10. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll. He said to me, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. I took the little scroll from the angel's hand and ate. It tasted as sweet, as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I had eaten, my stomach turned sour. Then I was told, you must prophesy. Say prophesy. Prophesy. By the token of honey, you will prophesy. I receive. I say, by the token of honey, you will prophesy. I receive. He said, you must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. Revelation, the book of Revelation ends off with honey and prophecy. So the tokens you will see is honey and prophecy. Are you with me? I don't Amen. want to speak to somebody here. I don't want to go into prophecy, then it will take, uh, take a, 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 a very long time. The second thing about uh, honey is uh, Psalm 34 verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. By the token of honey, everything in your life, everything in your life, you will experience the goodness of God. I receive As you taste it. that honey, you say, thank you, God. Today, I will experience, I'm experiencing your goodness. Wherever I go, I will taste and see. Taste and see. Not just taste that the Lord is good. You will taste and you will see. Ah, the Lord is good. Look, my banger, can you go to the ATM? I receive it. The Lord is good. You will come to your house and say, ha, ah, look at your house and say, the Lord is good. I receive Not it. Not just taste it. You will drive in your car and say, ah, the Lord is good. I hey. receive it. You will sit at your table and eat the food uh, and take out your peanut butter. You don't know much. Take crunchy uh, or the smooth or the caramel. But you remember when you were a child, that peanut butter you had to... Keep it for the whole month at one bottle. You have five children and you need to have that bottle of peanut butter for the whole month. You just took a little bit and just a taste on your, on your, on your bread. But now you can look and say, uh, in my house, will I take the smooth one or the... And you can even eat the whole bottle. Hey. And you will say, hey, the Lord is good. Peanut butter is nothing for you, but for me, I know where I come from. Hey. I know how I used to struggle. I know how what I went through. Hey. What is good for the one person is not good for you. But praise God, if it's good for me, I can just say, hey, I can taste and I can see the Lord is good. The Lord says, get ready for the token of Honey, you will see, you will see, your eyes will open. Listen here, the Lord says, the problem you used to see, you shall see no more. I From today, every problem, every challenge is changing into the goodness of God. Hey. of God. By the token of honey, my eyes will see the goodness of God. My eyes have seen too much trouble, problems, your car breaking down, your house problems, 
in your, your bank account problems, at your workplace problems. You only see some of you, you are getting ready because tomorrow, Monday, when you go there, you know you're going to see problems. But because of the token of honey, hey. you will taste the honey yes. and you will see. Hey, you will see. Hey. You will see. 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 Hey. <laughs> I think I need to stop here. Oh. Uh, can we go on? Hey. 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 Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I showed you in the book of Revelation. He says, after you eat this honey, you will prophesy. Yes. After you eat this honey, from the hand of your prophet. Yes. A prophetic impartation comes. Yes. The ashes is gonna give each is gonna, gonna give you honey. When you eat that honey, you will go out of the space. You say, "There's money in my bank account." Speak. You will just start to speak things over your life, over your business. Over, uh, 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 uh. I receive it. Break it up for us. As I father. taste this honey, I will see. The goodness of God. The tasting of this honey is the opening of my eyes to see the goodness of God. You will look at your, your office. You look at your table. Look at your computer. You say, ha. And you will just look at your qualification. And you will sit in your chair. And somebody knock at your door and say, uh, uh, Sir, uh, ma'am, uh, and call you on your surname, not on your first name. And you will sit back. And you will just look at your office. And look out there, all the people who are under you. I will say, God is good. I receive God it. God is good. You will see how customers come. Your, your business is so busy. You, I catalambano. You see, I say, the Lord is really good to me. God is good to me. Proverbs 24 verse 13. You must write these scriptures down because you will need it in your prophecies. Proverbs 24 verse 13. My son, eat thou honey. Now when the Bible talks about son, it does not talk about a gender. It talks about maturity. Son also includes the ladies. It is male and female. Are you with me? Don't read there, my son. You say, it's not for me because I'm a woman. No. Son, it talks about maturity. Okay? My son, eat thou honey because it is good. Say, ma say honey, I almost say money is good. <laughs> say, mama, no, 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 man. Say, say, honey. I say, I almost say, man, I say, money is good. No, say, honey is good. Honey is good. Say, honey. Honey. Just take your H away and put the M there. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ecclesiastes. Okay. Because it is good and the honeycomb which is sweet to thy taste. So honey talks about abundance. Talks about abundance. Abundance that's coming to your life. I receive Bless it. a blessed life. I receive By the it. token of honey, you will experience abundance in all areas of your life. I receive it. The next one, Judges 14, verse 18, because of time. And the man of the city said unto him, on the seventh day before the sun went down, what is sweeter than honey? What is sweeter than honey? Hey, kalabaha. I receive it. it. Honey talks about no more lack. Honey does not lack sweetness. Is it so? How many of you, you, you eat honey, but it is bitter? Huh? Honey, it can be, it does not matter how old it is. It keeps its sweetness. So it means there's no more lack. It will never lack sweetness. If somebody says, we will uh, give you honey, but we will take the sweetness away. You will laugh at them. Because you cannot take the sweetness away. Honey will never lack sweetness. So as you taste that honey, say, 
No more lack for me. My days of lack are over. I receive it. Now, in, in biblical times, honey also represented wisdom. So we just read it from the book of Proverbs, where uh, we know Solomon, the man of wisdom, he said in his wisdom, he says, honey, eat honey. It means honey represents, it's a symbol of wisdom. Say, so Lord, as I eat this, this honey, it will be sweetness, it will be wisdom to me, in Jesus' name. Let's look at the, the next one. Proverbs 16, verse 24, because of time. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are like honey from a honeycomb, sweet to the spirit and healthy for the body. Did you know that honey is good for your health? Did you know that honey has health benefits? I went, to, I went to do some studies and uh, some research, and this is what I came up with. They say here, uh, traditionally, honey is used, you can go on Google, you will find it. They say, traditionally, honey is used in the treatment of eye disease. Okay? Bron bron bronchial asthma. Okay? Throat infections. Tuberculosis. Thirst, if you are thirsty, just what it will take your thirst also. Hiccups, fatigue. Okay, if you are tired because the energy in the 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 the, 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 uh, the uh, honey is very high. Okay, so the energy level. So if you fatigue, just water with honey, drink it. Your energy level, especially people who exercise, your energy level fatigue, dizziness. Okay, hepatitis. Constipation, warm infections. So if your child has warm infection, give them honey. Piles, eczema. Just smear honey on your face. Yeah. Hey, that eczema will go. <laughs> Ulcers. Okay, any wounds and use as a nutritional supplement. It has nutritional supplement in it. So I, I'm not very, I don't want to go into nutritional supplements. But this is what I've discovered about the health benefits of honey. Now here is Solomon. He, years before they discover it and put it on Google to see the benefits of honey, the Solomon discovered it in Proverbs 16 verse 24. And he said, sweet to the spirit and healthy for the body. They say people who are depressed, if they eat honey, it, it does something to their spirit. It, it, that, it touches something in your body that your spirit is uplifted. I don't know. He discovered it. He said, honey is good for your spirit and for your body. It brings healing to your body. So if Solomon knew this, then it means it is not something new what you know about honey. Okay. Now, in biblical times, I've done, I, I have done some research. And they say, did you know that milk and honey was luxury in biblical times? It's not like today. It's like salt, I told you last time. Salt for us today, it's not a luxury. Everybody has salt. But those days, milk and honey was a luxury. They even used honey and milk to trade. In biblical times, that's history. So it is how much wealth and, 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 and value uh, honey and milk had. So, so it means honey speaks of luxury. It's time to have luxury in your house. Drive a luxury car. I receive it. Put on luxury clothes. I receive Eat luxury. <laughs> Healthy luxury. <laughs> luxury. Okay. The other thing, you know, uh, honey speaks about um, unlimited wealth and assets. Okay. So it, they use it. Honey was an asset. Honey, if you had honey, you were a wealthy man in biblical times. You were a rich man. Why do you think uh, the Bible says that Abraham was very wealthy? Because he had sheep, he had goats, and the milk producing money. Because in the desert, I mean, to, to get milk is very scarce in those days. 
So if you had cattle, you were a rich man. Because they used their milk to try to buy things. I give you milk, you give me a tent, or you give me whatever. So Abraham became rich because of the milk. I don't want to speak to somebody here. Today, milk is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Okay. Honey is what we need. If we eat honey, then something good is going to happen. Let me read you something I've discovered. They say, milk and honey are two powerful ingredients, ingredients that offer several promising health benefits. In particular, they may improve sleep uh, quality, enhance bone strength, and promote heart health. If you take cold milk, not cold milk, milk temperature, room temperature, you take a, a spoon of honey and you mix it and you drink it. If you cannot sleep, take milk, just honey, stir it, you will sleep like a baby. Why do you think God says, I'm bringing you to a land of milk, overflow of milk and honey? Because God knew in that time milk and honey was a luxury. For us today, we see milk and honey. We think, ah, milk, I see milk and honey. It's nothing for us. But for the people of Israel, when they were in Egypt, they've never drank milk and they never tasted a honey. It was expensive. And God says, I'm bringing you to a land where you only saw the Egyptians eat the honey and drink milk. You will have it more in abundance. Because it was a luxury. I see somebody's being elevated to a luxury life. I so honey there, so we've given a gift to each one here, a gift, we gave them honey here, those who are here, and we're going to do something. Now, I want us to do a few declarations before we're going to take this honey. Just lift up this honey, say, Almighty God, this honey is no longer ordinary. This honey in my hand, in the mighty name of Jesus, I can dash it. In the mighty name of Jesus. What you promise in the word of God about honey, as I partake in this honey, my life is being transformed. Something good is happening by the token of honey. Say today, by the token of honey, as I taste this honey, I will experience the goodness of God in all areas of my life. From today, in the mighty name of Jesus, every bitterness. In Jesus' mighty name, is disappearing out of my life, out of my business, out of my family. Just as honey is sweet, my life is getting sweeter. Today, I'm testing and my eyes are open to see the goodness of God. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Those who are watching also begin to pray. Raka chala baha. Raka chala boshia na la baha siya na. Bara baka shikia na la baha. Raka chala pray 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 pray. Kandira man. Kola baba shia na baba ha. Libra so baka chala man. Pray 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 pray. Ebra so baka shia na. Rabra ka so baka chala ba. Rika so baka kandira man do robo shokoto. Elebro so ko baka chala. Araki ka so baka Rebro Choco, Ola Bacashi and Alabaha, Macatalabaha, Risa Choco Tolabaho, Rabalabahashi and Alabaha. Amen. Say in the mighty name of Jesus, just as the people of Israel were taken out of Egypt, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by this token of honey, by the sweetness of God's goodness, I'm walking out. Every problem, every sickness, every challenge concerning my life. Today, I'm sitting in the gap for my family. Together as a family, the problems we experience, the challenges we experience. In Egypt, today, we are delivered. By the token of honey, we are going up. Under this prophetic action, under this grace, we are being elevated above all circumstances, above all our enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, today, I believe the word of God. This is no longer ordinary uh, uh, honey. It is 
extraordinary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, by the token of honor, I choose to go into the good land. The land of overflow. By the token of honey, I found myself in the land of overflow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, this honey, as it energizes the body in the natural, so will my life be energized by the word of God. The word of God is sweeter, sweeter than honey. The word of God will become tasteful for me. From today, by the token of honey, I will be hungry to study the word of God, to apply the word of God, to live in the word of God for my life. From today, by the token of honey, the word of God says in Judges 14 verse 18, what is sweeter than honey? Nothing is sweeter than honey. What is sweeter than the goodness of God? Today, as I and my family partake this token of the honey, today, as a family, our life is being transformed. We are moving away from lack. We are moving away from sickness. We are living away, we are moving away from a limitation life. Today, by the token of honey, I speak unlimited wealth. Unlimited wealth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To my life, to my family. Today we are standing together as a family. And if I'm alone, I stand in the gap for my family. Whatever sickness, whatever problem, today... Goliath, by the token of honey, you are destroyed. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Even the children pray, 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 pray. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, according to Revelation, Chapter 10, 10, verse 7 7 to 11. 11. After John, on the island of Patmos, eat the scroll, the token of honey, he began to prophesy. Again and again, he began to prophesy about many peoples, many nations, many languages, many kings. By this token of honey, My tongue is loose to prophesy. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Kalabahata, Kalabahata, Lama Katalabaka, Tolabosho, Rika Talabahana, Lama Robo Shongo, Tolabo Shia, Broshika, Parabahasia, Raka Talabahana, Lama Ha, Reka Talabahana, Maha, Raka, Lama Babasia, Lama Ha, give a matinee of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father. I thank you for the token of honey. Just as honey is being used with milk to destroy or defeat sleep disorders. As I partake in this uh, token of honey. Today, sleep disorders. The sleepless night. Sleepless night. Sleeplessness. Sleepless Today, Today, because of worry, because of problems, because of people. Today, I will have it no more. As I taste this honey, I will see my sleep is sweet. I will sleep in the goodness of God. And not worry, and not stress. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, Stress, get out of my life. Confusion, get out of my life. Worry, get out of my life. Fear, I command you to go. By the token of honey, 
Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ra bra ka so pra ka da la ba ka sa. Ra bra ka so pra ka si. Le beke cha la ba ka cha la ba ha. Bo shanga cha la ba ha. Ba la ba ha shi na ha. O ba ka cha da ba da cha cha. Ba la ba ka cha la ba ha. Bo shoko cha la ba ho. Ba la ba ha shi na ha. Ba li ka cha la ba ha. Mighty name of Jesus. Give the Lord the hand of praise. Give the Lord the hand of praise. Now I want the head of the family is the father, if it's the mother, whoever is the head of this family. I know there's some single mothers, so you can also do it. I want you to take just a drop, put it on the right hand. Just put a drop. Just a drop on, on the right hand of your child or your wife or whoever. Just put it there. Or if you are single, just put a drop. Just a drop, not too much. Because the other honey that's left, you, need, you must take it home. Okay? Just a little on your right hand. Don't eat now. Just hold it in your hand like this. Children, please, don't eat now. Just in your hand and keep it like this. Okay? Can Pastor Sema just come? Okay, just, just put it in the hand. Your right hand. Just put, just put it there. Can we put a little bit? Okay, thank you. Okay, you all have it? It's sweet. <laughs> okay, you have it like this. Now I want you to lift it up. Those who are also watching, I want I hope you have the drop of honey in the hands of all in your family. Now, who is sick? Who, let me see if you are sick. Lift up your other hand. If you are sick in your body, let me see. You, the other hand, just just wave, just do this. If you are sick. If you have pain, okay. Now, those who are sick today. Is your day of restoration of health. Those who've got whatever problem today, we're going to say bye-bye to problems. Amen? Amen? Say, Heavenly Father, as I lift up this honey, as a token, from Genesis to Revelation, you talk about honey. As this honey is in my hand, this hand that has the honey, from today, money is coming to this hand. As I hold this honey in this hand, this hand will count unlimited resources. This hand will touch houses. This hand will touch keys. This hand will hold money, wealth, luxury. This hand will hold. And it will be all mine. From today, my hand is blessed. To be a giver and to be a receiver. This hand will know money. Money that it never held before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As this hand is in my hand, I dash it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, from today, my life is being transformed. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to take this honey. Those who are sick, get ready. Those who struggle financially, get ready. Those who don't have a job, get ready. Those who are looking for promotion, get ready. Those who need to go for interview, get ready. Those who need to go see the difficult client, get ready. Those who need to go back to their business tomorrow, get ready. Akalabaha. Those who are going to go and talk to people about Christ, those who are lost, get ready. The Lord is going to touch your mouth. When you talk to your client, ha, they will say, can I buy? You will see your marriage also restored. You will see your children's life being restored. You will see everything restored. Everything about you will be restored. Every, those who are single need to get married. I don't see the excitement, Pastor Selma. They are not excited. <laughs> okay, now I want you to take that and take off your mask if you have a mask on because you cannot put it through your mask. Okay, get ready, eat now. Okay, those who are, are sick, after you take this, brown one, where are you? You can just go there. You can so long go on the testimony team. Just go there at the back. And uh, if, you, uh, just, if you are sick, you've got pain. Don't look at Emmanuel. No, just eat the honey and go there at the back. As you get there, you will see. Are you ready? 
I'm going to count to three. Then you put it in your mouth. Those who are watching, one, two, three. Mm. Out of the hand of the prophet, I gift. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. 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 Begin to p